I'm, I'm thinking maybe you figured out that this is Lucy Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. My name is Maura Keefe. I'm one of the scholars in residence here, and I'm delighted to have this chance to chat about structure and sadness. Uh, take about 15 or 20 minutes. I get to ask the first few questions. Then I'll open it up for your questions, and um, I'll repeat them so everybody can hear. First off, thank you. So I mean, I feel like a little odd being in this space right now, uh, but I, it really, um, thank you so much for a beautiful work. Really a pleasure to, to witness. Um, one of the things I was thinking about watching this work to just start at the sort of most um, basic is props are tricky and having props be a par so much a, a, a partner for the dancers in this work, does it ever just not work? And what happened, I mean, this is live performance. It's not like you could say, wait, we're going to start over. Um, little things go wrong, yes. We've never had a complete disaster, but, um, you know, we've had little parts of the tower collapse and, you know, tonight you may have noticed the dominoes didn't quite all go down. Um, and it's, it's actually really demanding for the dancers because they can never just sort of let go of, you know, the here and now and the sort of functionality of, of the building uh, and they have to sort of switch out of that focus into, into a sort of very different headspace for the dancing, in, especially in that first part where they're moving backwards and forwards. So it's, it, and it, they can just never relax and neither can I actually when I'm watching it because, I mean, because I think sometimes when it goes really, really well, people think that there's some trick to it or that somehow because it's theatre, it's very stable and, you know, maybe it clicks together or something like uh -huh. that. But, it, you know, as you can see, it's always on the edge and always quite a sort of tenuous balanced structure. One of the additional challenges you give them besides that they have to build the structure then do the, the gorgeous full body dancing is you're actually reducing the amount of space that they have to dance in as mm. the structure gets more complex but you don't let down on what you're asking them to do. And could you talk about a little bit about what that was like for you to be sort of shrinking the space for the, for the, the dance stage? Yes, well there was, you know, it, there was a little bit of a struggle between uh, me and the designer, I think, in that <laughs> area. <laughs> and, and I think that really works because the dancing actually becomes more, um, you know, wild as that section goes along. And so I was, you know, always kind of fighting a little bit for more more space for the dancers. And But he, it was really great, actually, that he insisted on this kind of, you know, fairly divided space with fairly contained uh, air, space areas for dancing. It certainly builds the tension. Yes. So um, another thing I was thinking is that you really make us choose. You give us these these duets, but you also give us the intricacy of, of the work being done. And you don't let us very much just look at one or the other, that we have to, to choose between as a viewer. And did you think about that and how to balance um, those two very different kinds of activities? Yes, I think what came out quite strongly for me in that section you know, in the studio, the, the movement's all based on um, principles of engineering like torsion and tension and you know, uh, buckling and uh, using gravity. Um, and so it, it was a kind of a, it was a kind of work that we were doing. Um, Even in the investigation in of the, the dancing, investigation, the yeah, bigger dancing, the dancing section. Dancing. So it sort of feels in a way moving from one to the other almost like a sort of parallel between the, the work done by the dancers um, on, on their bodies and the, and the work of building the structure. And did you trust right from the beginning when you were first experimenting with different kinds of mat physical materials, the, the, the cards or the, the strings that we see, did you trust right away that it was going to be interesting to watch that, that kind of work? Um, I think so, yes. Because I, you know, it's it's an interesting thing with theatre. Like sometimes the most ordinary things, or often the most ordinary things, are, are the most riveting. Like, you know, you can be watching this amazing dance performance, and a technician comes on and has to change a gel, and suddenly, you know, because yeah. it's, everyone just looks at that, <laughs> right, you know. Right. So I think there's something about having to do a real task, like actually something real that you can never, you can never really get when you're dancing or when you're kind of performing, even though, you know, it's something we, we all strive for, that real engagement with the body that, um, and, and try to sort of be doing it as though it's the first time every time, but, but 
with something like building that structure, you can't, you can never get used to it. You can right. never feel really relaxed or comfortable. And I think that's that's what builds the tension um, and keeps it interesting for the audience. I think I was thinking tonight. Uh, I was particularly struck by the. Um, the woman who is washing the dishes, and she's mm -hmm. looking quite happy. And I was th because of the time of the bridge collapse in 1970, gender roles were different 50 years ago, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and so how, how did that dictate? And so we're not really seeing character. We're not really seeing the story specifically, but we're, you're evoking moments of it. So the, the women are in dresses, and they're mm -hmm. not involved in the, in the labor or the accident in the same kind of way. And did you think about that when, uh, you know, 21st century, maybe it would be different, maybe not, still pr predominantly probably the construction workers would probably still be men, but but maybe she wouldn't be home washing dishes or something. Did you think about that? Um, I guess I wasn't so much thinking about gender, I was just thinking about uh, an ordinary moment um, engaged, you know, when you're, you're just thinking about daily kind of mundane activities and and you hear um, you hear about some massively tragic event that could you know possibly involve people that you know or that you love and and just the, I mean even for all of us it's like uh, in a in our lifetime we've we've heard of we've had these things happen in the world which you know when you hear it you are really Kind of shocked and stunned, and just ripped out of your life for a moment. And um, so I was really trying to get at that at that moment. Yeah. And so the mundane versus the mundane versus the tragic. Yeah, we, a thing that I think is um, after we've. I mean, we, we have the inevitability of what's going to happen. We yeah. probably all read about it in the marketing materials yeah. ahead of well, time. We we know that's obvious. coming yeah. down. But then um, this beautiful. Um, what we're left with of the chaos of the lights disappearing and giving us the bridge. And then you reintroduce some of the, um, the, the duets and the beautiful movement material we've seen in the beginning, but now we have the whole stage space for dancing. Could you talk a little bit about how the, the concept of this order came and what it was like to bring the dancing back in a, in a sort of safer environment or, mm. or an afterwards kind of moment? Well, obviously, you know, that's the, the rebuilding of the bridge, and I, you know, it's it's a it's it's almost like a, a musical, like an A B A kind of. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was just thinking that the other day. It's it's a very classic kind of um, form for a work, um, and I just found that with the rebuilding, I didn't I didn't really need very much apart from this kind of fairly structured choreographic. Um, section where people were interconnected and were responding to each other and and sort of creating um, pattern and and movement and that 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 seemed to be enough to suggest reconnection and and community and um, I guess trust it's also I'm for, it's a life does go on kind of thing and that yeah. the world has changed but maybe it's not changed so much. I mean, there's so we don't see the I mean, the, the men's duet that we had seen with the, the sticks connecting them. Now they no longer have mm. the sticks, and so there's some so very it's yeah. So it, so it's changed, but it's still a familiar place, I think. So my last question, 